Turn about goodbyes. Final day, trial. From chapter start. Alright, so this is the final trial. December 28th, 9.51 a.m. District Court, Defendant's Lobby number 2. This is it. Judgment day. Today, things are going to get settled at last. A lot of things. Warg. What's the big idea? Sorry, Nick. I only touched your shoulder. I guess the shock hasn't worn off from my run-in with the stun gun yesterday. Anyhow, today's the last day of the trial. Good luck, Nick. Yeah, thanks, Maya. I draw this looking glum as always. I hope Bun Karma doesn't push him too hard. Whoa. What are you doing? Sorry, I'm sorry. I just thought I'd ch cheer you up with a pat on the back. Maya, maybe you should go outside and discharge. Right, good idea. Try not to electrocute anyone on your way out. Ooh, yeah, pal. He's gotten into that girl. Detective Gumshoe. Morning, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, good morning. How did it go, Detective? Have no fear. As promised, I've captured our runaway caretaker. I, I, brought, I just brought him in. Took all night, pal. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. You must be tired. Actually, after that shock I got away, uh, I got on the way in, I feel pretty good. Yogi says he's forgotten his own name. But that has to be a lie. Why would he want revenge on Edgeworth if he couldn't remember his past? He does remember, and I'm going to prove it. December 28th, 10 a.m. This is the court, courtroom number three. All right, time for the trial. Court is now in session for the trial of Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, your honor. Oh, uh, this again. The prosecution is ready. Oh, wow, yeah, he's, uh, right, very well. We shall proceed according to plan. We have reached the final day of our proceedings in this trial. I ask that the prosecution submit decisive evidence. Understood. Come on, don't be awed into silence by every little thing he says. Very well. Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Right. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe's efforts, the boat rental shop caretaker has been arrested. In yesterday's trial, the defense asserted that the caretaker was the murderer. However, the caretaker has yet to confirm this. I would like to ask the defense to cross-examine him as much as necessary. Very well. Please bring the witness into the courtroom. Oh boy. Starting with this guy again. Ladies and gentlemen of the court. I believe you all remember our witness. He lives in the boat rental shop on the lake from where he witnessed the incident. In addition, he has currently lost memory of his name and identity. Witness. Why did you run away yesterday? The witness was not running away, as he will now testify. Uh, uh I see. Very well, please begin your testimony. Is he gonna wake up? Uh, wake up. There we go. Mm -hmm. Why I left court. Oh, he's gotta testify as to why he left court first. Hmm. Uh, I'm really sorry about leave just leaving yesterday like I did, but I wasn't running away or nothing. I uh, went to buy some food for Polly, see? I figured I got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Or, I mean, I need one of those motive things, right? And I don't got none. So my testimony yesterday stands as is. Uh, hmm, very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, shall we? He has to know his name. Yanni Yogi. You're Yanni Yogi, and I'm going to prove it. But the question is, how am I going to prove it? It's going to be a bit of a... Okay. Well, it's, it's going to be quite a bit of a problem trying to get him to do it. Uh, like I did. Okay, but I wasn't running away or nothing. I, uh... Went to buy some food for Polly. Mm. Food? Well, Polly is a bit of a gourmet, do you see? 
She only eats these high-quality bird pellets from France. They only have them in the big pet shop downtown. But weren't you a uh, but you weren't arrested until this morning. Why didn't you go back to the caretaker shack? Well, uh, I kind of got lost, you see. The witness has trouble remembering things sometimes. When the police apprehended him, he was on his way back to the shack. Yeah, right. Nice try, Von Karma. No one's going to believe that. Hmm. I see. So he was lost. Please, Your Honor, come to your senses. I, I agree. Uh, I forgot I got nothing to do with this instant. Anyhow, well, you do. You're Yada Yogi. You've lost much of your uh, you've lost much of your memory. Is that correct? Uh, uh yep. It seems like it. Then how could you know that you didn't have anything to do with this incident? Uh, or, or maybe you're lying about not having your memory, hmm? You know exactly who you are. The witness has testified quite clearly that he has no memory of who he is. If you claim he's lying, then show your court proof. Uh, how am I supposed to prove what's going on in that cold, old Congress head? That's impossible. Hmm, I'm glad you've come to your senses, Mr. Wright. Very well, witness. Please continue. Uh, it's actually kind of hard to know when he's lying. A lot of, like, the characters in the previous cases, like, if you press them on the right thing, they had animations or something that would ch uh, change and show, like, surprise or something. This guy's just completely out of it, not showing it, giving me any hints. Uh, I mean, I'd need one of those motive things, right? And I don't got one. Well, I could bring up the motive against the Hedgehog. Well, against the oh defendant guy, I I not remember blanking on his name. Actually, what was his name? Just uh, Robert. Yeah, old Robbie boy. How can you say you had no motive? I say you do. You had a grudge against Edgeworth and the victim, Robert Hammond. That's why you took revenge on them, right? Please don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The witness has no memory of anything beyond several years ago. He can't hold a grudge. It's impossible. I have to prove he's lying about his memory. Otherwise, it's going to be the same thing over and over until the trial ends. Might I say something, Mr. Wright? Yes. Yes, Your Honor? You've been saying the same thing now over and over. You've been calling the witnesses' memories of the past or lack thereof into question. But does this really have anything to do with the current case? Of course, Your Honor. The witness has said that he has nothing to do with this case and no motive. Both of these statements are lies. Order, order. Mr. Wright, there's a serious problem with your claim. Or, are you saying? Are you saying you know who this witness is? Of course, Your Honor. Huh. Oh. Now, this is interesting. I would like to know myself. So, who is he? Don't play dumb, Von Karma. Mr. Wright, please tell us the witness's name. Yanni Yogi. Easy enough, Yanni Yogi. His name is Yanni Yogi, a former court bailiff. Yogi? That name seems familiar. Oh! Yanni Yogi, from the DL6 incident. I thought the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous case. But, what does this mean? Your Honor. If this man is Mr. Yogi, then he has a clear motive. Jumping to conclusions again, Mr. Wright. This man, this witness, is Yanni Yogi. Fascinating. However, how do you propose to prove this to the court? This is a court of law, as you may recall. You need proof. And allow me to repeat, once more, that the witness has lost his memory. This is it. I have to do this now. If I can't prove he's Yogi right here, right now, then I've got nowhere else to go. Nick, how are you going to prove it? How can you prove that he's Yanni Yogi? It's okay. It's actually quite simple. Your Honor, please take a look at this man's fingerprints. Then we'll compare them to the fingerprints on the file of Yanni Yogi 15 years ago. I see. That makes sense. Huh? I'm so very... Very sorry, Mr. Wright. Uh, why? Uh, the witness 
has no fingerprints. What? What? No fingerprints? Uh, you see, before I worked as a caterer, I worked at a chemical plant. I burned my fingers while working with the stuff, but yup. Uh, what? Yogi, you snake. You burned your fingerprints off to hide your past. Hmm. Well, if the witness has no fingerprints, I guess we will not be able to prove his identity. No. Well, what would he do, Mr. Wright? Uh... Hmm? It seems that the case has been decided, no? No. I know what happened. I know everything. I, I just can't prove it. But no, I can't let it end like this. I can't lose. There has to be another way. There is no one who can testify as to who this witness is. No one. Nick, what are you going to do? I didn't even consider the possibility, uh, or consider that he might have erased his fingerprints. What do I do? Well, Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to cross-examine the parrot for a little comic relief. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very funny. You're a sore winner, Von Karma. Wait a second. Cross-examine the parrot? Uh, that's what I was thinking. Uh, I was just thinking, uh, the maybe I could use the parrot as evidence. Uh, what is it, Nick? No, you're not going to. Your Honor! The defense would like to take Mr. Von Karma up on his proposal. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no, I'm not actually going to cross-examine the parrot. Please tell me I'm not going to. Uh, take up Mr. Von Karma on his proposal. Exactly, Your Honor. I would like to cross-examine the witness's pet parrot. Order, order. Uh, well, what do you think, Mr. Von Karma? Need you even ask? This is a farce. I object. Wait a second. You were the one who suggested I cross-examine the parrot, Von Karma. I have a right to do as you suggested. Hmm. Well, if you're so desperate, then please, be my guest. Of course, should you go through with this, and nothing comes of it, I, then I hope you're ready for the consequences. Nick, this is crazy. Well, still want to go through with your little game? Uh, this is really weird, because it's going to be cross-examining a parrot. But I kind of just want to say yes, just so I can try cross-examining the parrot. Just because that sounds hilarious. I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, yes, I'm doing it. Let the parrot take the stand. I will cross-examine her, your honor. <laughs> oh no. What is this? What has this become? This is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Von Karma's rigged every person's testimony, every piece of evidence, except the parrot. She's my last chance. Uh, at least, I think so. Bailiff, bring in the parrot. Oh god, I'm really doing this? That's quite a bird. Please, tell us your name. Name. The witness is ignoring me. It must hurt to be ignored by a bird. Ahem. Very well. Witness. Who is your owner? Uh, please, uh, testify for us. Witness testimony. Who is your owner? Hello. Hello, Squawk. I... Uh, brilliant testimony. Certainly the mo con most concise testimony we've had so far. Very well, begin your cross-examination. Right. What are you going to do, Nick? I... I don't know. What do we do, Maya? Hmm. Who is your own... <laughs> what is... Oh. I present proof that you can... <laughs> You committed the murder, Bird, with this gun. No. Uh, I press your statement, Bird. I find a contradiction with your evidence. Witness, you can't just say hello and expect us to get anywhere. I want you to testify. Maya, you talk to her. Right, uh, what do I say? Uh... <laughs> what's the safe number? Uh... I guess... Have we forgotten something? I doubt that. What's your name? 
yeah, that's a good thing to start with. Uh, that was the question in general for this. So, uh, what is your name? Maybe I should get her to say her name. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly, Polly, Squawk, Mr. Wright. I think we've established that this parrot is named Polly. Does this have anything to do with her owner's identity? Oh, uh, um... Oh boy, I'm thinking that... So uh, I'm probably gonna have to present something. Uh... I guess it could be used as proof that it, it, the bird does belong to him, so he can't deny anything. Uh, uh, let me look through some evidence first. I, I think it's gonna make me bring us some evidence. Uh... Here's the picture of the murder. DL6 bullet, Gregory Edgeworth's heart, still bears clear ballistic markings. Uh, DL6 incident, shut the button to read. Uh, elevator district, uh, elevator district court. Error in the elevator was oxygen depleted at the time of the incident. No clues found on the scene. Gregory Edgeworth, H35, defense attorney trapped in an elevator, returning from a lost trial with son Miles, H9. One bullet through the heart, or found in the heart. The murder weapon was fired twice. Court, court bailiff trapped with uh, the Edgeworths. Memory lost due to oxygen deprivation. After his rest, fiance Polly Jenkins commits suicide. Polly? Oh, did he. Oh, did he name his uh, bird after his fiance then? Then that means that he does have his memory still if he called it Polly, unless I don't know how long parrots live for, so I don't know how long he's had this. I... I don't think anything else would help. Okay, you know what? That seems pretty cons uh... Pretty concise. I guess this could be proof that it is his... Uh, that it does have something to do with this. It can prove the identity of the... Uncle guy who's Yogi. Yes, it does. Ha. Fascinating. You claim the parrot's name will prove her owner's identity. Then show us the proof. Nick. Don't you think you're taking the bluffing a little too far? Listen, we're not here to answer the question of who is the care- uh, oh. Who is the caretaker? We're here to prove that he is y uh, Yanni Yogi. All we have to do is tie the name Polly to Yogi, your honor. The proof that the parrot's name reveals the caretaker's identity is, well, I just found it, and it's the DL6 case file. Present The DL6 case file? That's quite a large file you have there. Which page is the proof on, then? Show us, or stop wasting our time. Hmm. Very well. Mr. Wright, please show us the page. Where in this file is the information connected to the parrot's name? Uh, oh, wait. I can look at it still. Woo! Oh, I thought I was about to be like, oh, no. Uh, case summary victim data, suspect data. Yeah, okay. Well, I could have probably guessed that if I thought about it, but, uh, suspect data, definitely. Or was it? I need to make sure I don't. Case summary. Uh. Polygen, so suspect data. Yeah, okay. I was just making sure. I didn't miss anything. Uh, definitely suspect data. There. It's on the suspect data page. This page has all the information about Yanni Yogi. Right after he was arrested, his fiance committed suicide, see? Hmm, indeed it does say that, yes. What was his fiance's name? Polly Jenkins. Polly. Exactly, your honor. He remembered the name of his fiance who committed suicide. That's why he named his parrot after her. I see. I guess that is possible. Is possible. Bah. A mere coincidence. That's all. My granddaughter has a dog she calls Phoenix. Well, Mr. Phoenix Wright, does that make you my granddaughter's fiance? She's only seven years old. Hmm, indeed. 
Alone, it is a little weak for evidence in a murder trial. We would need some other corroborating evidence. Cor corroborating. Uh, I don't know why that corroborating. Uh, where am I going to find that? Nick, we are getting closer. Once more, uh, if we can just get one more piece of evidence. Right, but what? Uh, hmm. Very well, witness, you may continue. Well, I guess we should try to get some information out of her. We need to show the judge that her only is Mr. Yogi. Uh, oh, can I ask her the other questions from before? Well, first I'm gonna pause this, but maybe I can ask her the questions. 